the buttons working. All the buttons are pushed. Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> Sorry, it took us a little bit longer to get to get shit together today. Um, but I do have a few announcements to start off with. Okay, first of all, thanks to Oddling, I have now hit 100 followers. And so that means I need to carve out time to play I Alien Isolation on stream. <laughs> What? what? <laughs> per, per major requests. <laughs> um, so no idea when that's going to happen, but I will definitely have to make time for it. And playing Alien Isolation will also finally kick off Aliens RPG one-shots. As I am, I have been studying and preparing for this day my whole life. Um, also, if you are in the Denver area, tomorrow is a tornado. No, uh, tomorrow that sounded so much like a weather report. Um, is a game developers meetup. So um, I will be downtown at the 14er tomorrow. Um, if you're in the Denver area, like feel free to pop by and hang out because that's really all we do is we're just getting together and catching up with everyone and grabbing some drinks um but then also next month in may half of us will be out in san francisco hopefully for graduation <laughs> 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 um yep tish joseph and i ha are graduating officially and uh um because the pandemic's over and stuff we actually get a ceremony i didn't think we were still getting a ceremony um, so we are planning on traveling. So if you guys are in the Bay Area next month, also coordinate because I am definitely planning on shenanigans. Like there's going to be lots of shenanigans, like sketch crawls and games all over the place. Lots of shenanigans. Um, Do you and... get the fancy little hat as well? Like, oh, yeah. Know. Oh, yeah. We definitely get the fancy little hat. <laughs> the what? The hat you're only going to wear once, but like you don't ever want to throw out. So it's like my mind blanked there for a second. I thought you were talking to Beanie with the little helicopter legs on it. What hat are you talking Fancy about? The graduation hat. graduation cap. cap, the one that you throw. The uh -oh. square. Yeah, it the is square. a cap, sir. <laughs> it is know. a mortarboard. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> so wow. Fancy. fancy. Why my brain decided to hold on to that little tidbit of information? I don't know. They're surprisingly so hard to keep on your head. Yeah, <laughs> I will definitely have struggled with that then. Um, and hairspray. <laughs> and then also in a couple of weeks. Um, oh, actually, only for the 11th um, will I be out visiting Amberly for the session. So don't know if we're going to do side by side or if I'm just going to go. We're going to do opposite rooms. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I'll probably just cuddle up with you on your on your camera. <laughs> That's fine. We'll move my beanbag couch over here for that section. It's really oh, screw that! I want the beanbag to... couch. Can I have? Okay, well then you can sit behind me, and they can see you sit right there from my <laughs> camera. Oh, I oh, love it. Oh, oh my! <laughs> so be yelling across the room. Roll. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, so speaking of la uh, last time. It's been a couple weeks last time on Stars of the Sovereignty. Um, you guys had finally made it to the World Builder and managed to get, you know, some semblance of instructions on how to repair the current plague on the lands. Um, you guys made, you know, went through the whole World Builder's temple. You guys garnered a lot of new information. Um, as well as made a new friend with the world builder and, um, we're going to pick up exactly where we left off. And that was after you guys glimpsed the actual size of the world builder. Um, it is currently late afternoon. Um, this with the power of the world builder relatively restored, there is some semblance of color returning to the grass. Um, beneath your guys' feet, but you are on top of that wave-shaped peak overlooking the valley, overlooking the entrance to the temple, and uh, standing side by side with the uh, Prime Minister while griffins circle overhead. And that's where we're leaving off. So we're about to fly Air Griffin. Uh... 
I guess I'm gonna look over at the uh, at the prime minister. Is is he surprised to see them too? <laughs> he is not surprised to see them. Ah, uh, he planned it all along. <laughs> I have a question regarding our familiars. Uh, what's gonna happen to Petal? <laughs> what's gonna happen to Petal when what? When we when we fly in, where are we going? Are we gonna go back to where we, or are we like going straight to the capital? You know. What? Why are you asking me? I don't know. I'm just a DM. I'm just narrating what oh, you no. guys are doing. <laughs> I don't know anything. Oh, I only read the story. going to ask the Prime Minister, hey, wait, where are we going? <laughs> where are we going? Prime Minister's going to be like, well, you guys need to get to the, the Citadel. But how is definitely the question you guys need to answer. And he whistles um, at your guys' answer. You guys see your familiars down there. And he whistles and his... Um, his Eki Ran actually does a little circle around everyone, and they take off into the dead woods. Um, so presumably they are coming to you guys. Okay. Okay. So Petal will be joining us. Nice. <laughs> so we have another road trip ahead, it seems. Road trip! One of the griffins um, does start circling a little bit lower and begins to land and um the prime minister actually looks over at you Ivania, and he goes this is hamor we had called him before i walked in Hem hamor yes uh wait a minute because he, rec like he recalls Griffin? he recalls the you were wondering who he was going to call for his backup he called griffins on speed dial what is it <laughs> Yep. New quote of the day. <laughs> How do we spell him more? H e m o r. G m o r. Okay. H h e m o r. Oh, okay. M is yeah. Mary. Zamor is visibly geeking out. He's like, "Oh my god, <laughs> there's fucking griffins. This is great." <laughs> Can I attempt to say hi? <laughs> <laughs> um, attempt to say. <laughs> All right. So the um, Hemor's Griffin, presumably Hemor's Griffin, uh, does a circle around you guys and lands probably about twenty feet from the Prime Minister. Uh, you guys see uh, white and blue and gold trim robes. Uh, very finely kept. Hemor himself appears to be relatively young. Um, you know, IRL probably like 20 or 30 year old uh, with curly blonde hair that's kind of messily tied back. Um, but no apparent, no visible, you know, skin art, no visible jewelry. He's very simple. Um, and his darks are, are, and his eyes are a pale warm yellow um but he dismounts from his griffin which in turn kind of growls at you guys but purrs at him and he approaches the prime minister and he's like i was wondering if you were going to be able to make it out and the prime minister's like you doubted me <laughs> and us <laughs> no, wait the griffin spoke no this is him no <laughs> Oh, this guy's writing. Yeah. So Zunori's on a trip today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it is yeah. 420. Hey! Oh, shit, yeah. it is. Oh, fuck. Okay. 421 uh, for me. Oh, yep. Yeah, see, One there, there. It doesn't count. <laughs> no. I, it's, I'm, it's, I'm feeling the, the after effects. effects. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if I was going to say hi to the griffin regardless and completely ignore him more. <laughs> Roll animal handling. Animal handling, yeah. Uh, let's see. <coughs> With the what? With advantage? None of us uh, are trying it. Well, no, he's, um, well, he's I mean, got... I have passive advantage. Yeah, 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 he's got oh. passive skills. Yes. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Twenty-two. All right. Um. So. 
Doesn't this... chew your hand off. <laughs> so this griffin kind of clicks its beak at you. It is warning you to stay back, but it's not snapping at you. What would you like to do? Uh, oh, man. Vanya, can, can Vanya do, do like some kind of a respectful gesture? Does, does, does Vanya know any kind of respectful gesture towards Griffins? <laughs> Roll history. Mm, okay, history. That's a five. <laughs> oh no. You're not, yeah. nothing comes to mind. You are awestruck by seeing a griffin this close. You have seen them from a distance uh, with your time growing up in the Light Realm's capital, but you have not gotten so close to one personally. Too much power. Cannot handle. I rolled a hypothetical animal handling check and it was a natural one. I'm like, yep. Oh, that <laughs> checks. <laughs> That's on character. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> you really struggle. With the animal handlings. Oh, they're wild. So Nori just ha struggling this whole time. <laughs> yeah, this makes me wonder why he has a pet owl. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> That's a special breed right there. Um, I, I guess uh well i'll check in with the the prime minister and say how do you feel after this is is this check out is this what we should be looking for the <clears throat> prime minister's like well we haven't really had anything like this happen before but from what i can glean this this may work. You know, we were able to buy a little bit of time for you guys to, as I guess, go and retrieve Rhinos and bring him back here. Mm -hmm. And, and Hemor, um, he's like, and on that note, you know, he's like, there are more deaths being reported realm wide. And he's like, and then he, Sunori, roll insight and perception. Mm -hmm. Wait, who am I picking on today? Oh, oh, that's right. Okay. <laughs> who who am, am I picking, picking on today? Bro. <laughs> I, I rolled I rolled a nine for uh insight, but a natural twenty for perception. Alright, so um Hemwire is essentially debriefing the Prime Minister um over the events of the past couple of weeks. And, um, you know, he does, you hear him mutter to the prime minister that he's like, the general is, has been ransacking villages. He doesn't seem to be slowing down and he's heading down to Sirosar. And Sirosar, you know, to be in the south. Mm, mm. Uh, or, or, you know, south, southwest of the. But either way, you hear you hear him mutter that to the to the prime minister, and the prime minister says he's like, "Well, I guess I know where I'm stopping by on the way back." Mm -hmm. But he's uh. But the prime minister looks back at you, and he's like, "Yeah, it would it would just be a question of how you guys would, uh, what would get you guys up to the citadel quicker." And Himori says, you know, presumably there is a portal down in Sirosar that you guys can take up to the Lothal Citadel, but from what Jonas Etios is telling me, you guys also have forest favor. So you guys could probably go through the Eventide Forest without issue. Well, this is true. It, I guess it depends on the rest of the troop, but why is the general on a tirade? Hemor kind of takes his chin back down. And he said, As it stands, 
Only us and those at the camp really know what's going on. The general is trying to investigate what's going on, and presumably his aggravation has snowballed, and he's out of control now. <sighs> Shouldn't... My goodness. So we haven't killed him yet because... And he's like, well, you say yet very strongly. That's the prime minister. He will need to face the consequences of his actions. Do we know what the damage is? And Hemor's like... Hemor says, just two days ago, he hit Orkney. I'm sorry, what? The dad's in Orkney. No, no, the general's this? not his dad. <laughs> not no, his dad. Not, that dad. No, no. not that general, the other one. The other one that's uh, got an no. anger problem. Um, my dad's just arrogant. <laughs> um, I say we torture him. <laughs> <laughs> Did we all hear this? Is that... Uh, do you guys hear all this? Did we, I mean, I can roll, roll perception or something. <laughs> roll perception. We we know if I, we know if Anya is very uh, distracted. Ah, oh, damn it! So I failed to roll out of <laughs> You are disqualified. Hail the Griffins! Hail the Griffins! <laughs> that was Hail a thirteen work. <laughs> You didn't catch most of the conversation, but your ears perked up around the time Orkney was mentioned. My my rock ears that don't exist. <laughs> yep. All right. It's a twenty-one. A, 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 a you you don't skip a beat. You don't miss a beat. Hmm. I'm just saying this might be the exception to the whole morality rule that Sonora's got going on. <laughs> mm. Wait, are we all rolling to see if we can hear? The ones I wanted to. Do you? you, don't um, need to. Yeah, do you? Yeah, I wanna. I'm not. I'm not gonna count that. Sorry. <laughs> I'll count that. Count. No, I like. I have these. <clears throat> my dice tray has like snaps, in it. Like you can lay it flat, or you can make it into a little tray. Tray, and uh, it just went boom right oh. in one of the little snaps. <laughs> yep. Oh, it's cocked. We roll it. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, wait, I gotta do math now. What is this? Uh, perception. Oh. Get I think I'm good at that. Well, I'm Get Try trying try to take over 17. your dad's character. Oh. He is rambunctious this morning. He won't leave me alone. He keeps on headbutting me. Because uh, well, you haven't gotten a... any sleep yet, and he's like, Dad. <laughs> that's a sign of affection from cats. Yeah, yeah, he's absolutely showing his affection, but he's the one who kept me up all night. Get away from me. <laughs> oh, so but, Moshi, uh, you also hear the conversation. Sweet. And I was kind of like not listening. So what was the conversation? <laughs> Hamor is uh, uh, essentially TLDR. trying to... Yeah, TLDR Hemor uh, was filling in the Prime Minister on the events over the past couple of weeks. Um, the part of the conversation that cropped up as a concern was um, over the past couple of days, the general um, that has been investigating and essentially interrogating villages um, has turned to ransacking and he passed through Orkney a couple of days ago on his way to Sirosar. I say we torture and murder him. Sonora's gonna tell me no. <laughs> is that where we came from? That was where we all met. <laughs> or can we, yep, was where you guys all met. Well, that sucks. I just want to whisper something to you at the moment, Rochelle, so I can get some confirmation. Just give me a second. If they took away... If they took Jondi or messed up her kitchen... I am not. See, we'll just have one scenario. Let's go murder people. <laughs> do you? Say, do you? Murder people. Uh, Moshi, do you say that about Johnny's kitchen out loud? Should I? 
do. I'm asking you. All right, I'll say it out loud. Um, yeah, I'll just say. What? If they hurt Johnny or her kitchen, I will be extremely mad. And I might have to... What do you call that word? <laughs> when you go after somebody who's wrong to you. Um, vengeance? It vengeance. I might oh, have to vengeance. vengeance. <laughs> I'm going to vengeance. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bring no work. That, you deserve, that deserves to be Moshi's new quote. I, oh, oh. <laughs> I might have to vengeance. <laughs> I might have to vengeance. Okay, hold on. Okay. Yeah, because I haven't done the translations yet, so... Mm. I might I'm have gonna... to... <laughs> I'm going to turn to the Prime Minister and say... I have to say it. The story that I told you about when I was in the war... The general was a big part of that. The prime minister uh, kind of looks down on you, over at you, and he's like, "A big part in what way?" Like a commanding part. He's like, "Kitty's everywhere." I'm loving it. <laughs> oh. Jumped up in my lap. So cute. Oh, Prime Minister's like, <clears throat> are you willing to report that? I think the only reason I haven't done anything about it is because him and my father were seemingly friends. They do right. rub shoulders. Who is this other. guy? Oh, He's um, Moshi, to refresh your memory, I'm going to whisper to you. The guy I don't like. Yes. Well, actually, that's a long list. <laughs> Very long list. There you go. Um, this mother fricker. <laughs> uh, Moshi so remembers. Hemor's like, and yeah, he might but... have to vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Perfect. I'm sorry. Oh, I'll support Moshi in vengeance. <laughs> So Hemor, uh, <laughs> Hemor, uh, Hemor, you know, kind of steps closer, a little bit closer to you, uh, Zunori, and he's like, "I fully understand and respect your hesitation." Um, he's like, "As it just so happens, I can take <clears throat> your account now, anonymously, and we can fudge it to where it's anonymously enough to where they can't glean enough information." But we can certainly add it to the pile that he's been building as he's been ransacking his own realm. I think that's... I think it's getting to that point. I'd like to deal with him myself, but... I don't know. I don't think I'm quite that powerful yet. Yet. Ah, oh, who cares? <laughs> we'll knock him out. We'll give him some cuts on his body, stuff in some poisonous leaves. Bury him alive? You don't have to be powerful. And the his crafty prime minister's like I he commend he's like I I commend you for <clears throat> wanting to assist with it, but I can handle him myself. You guys certainly have a higher priority to take care of, and I trust you guys to take care of that higher priority. I have no issue. I hope it's taken care of. <laughs> You Make guys better take he care of this it. shit. But he's like, as long as you guys take care of the world builder, I'll go handle the general. We mm. already did. We, I'm confused. We built ourselves some time. We haven't we got, yeah, like we fixed it. Yeah, it's not fixed. It's bandaged. Oh, you mean? Oh. Well, so we have to go find the stuff to fix it. <laughs> Give Excuse stitches me. instead of bandaid. By the stuff, we mean the man. He's basically like, we bought ourselves enough time to go find a more permanent solution. <laughs> okay. Rochelle, I whispered you. Sorry. I have a very large file of note-taking, but I can't search it because I, <laughs> I 
I don't know. I'm looking for this person's name, and I'm like, I don't know his name. <laughs> I know, hard to search when you don't know his name. <laughs> I was like, I can't find this guy. It's, I don't know his name. While okay, we're here asking these sorts of questions, what is my wife's hometown again? I can never remember the name. <laughs> <I know. laughs> wife's hometown is Lokva, which is the next Lok-va. town. Lok-va. The next town between uh. Orkney and Zero Star. And he hit Orkney two days ago. And it's a day's ride. A day slow ride to Logba. I'll, I'll, t- I'll speak to the Prime Minister and I'll say, is there any way you can uh, find out the situation in Logba? Uh, he looks over at Hemor and Hemor's like, I can... I can send a scout. Hmm. Please. It's it's of the utmost importance to me. Uh, Amor steps away from the group for a short second and he whistles and one of the griff... There's a, four griffins that are currently circling you guys. One of the griffins kind of swoops down and hovers uh, quite a ways off the ground. Presumably he's giving orders telepathically because he just, you know, essentially gives a little hand gesture and mm. the griffin takes off in that direction. Thank you very much. And I'll actually shake his hand. <laughs> you don't know what this means to me, please. I, I need to find out news as soon as I can. And as for us, are our animals there yet? <laughs> <laughs> oh... <laughs> Oh, real, per- real perception, actually. <laughs> All of us, or just uh, right now? Just, 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 Chris. Ah, okay. Yeah. No. Uh, that was terrible. Oof. Uh, that's a nine. Um, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Wait, what? Wah, wah. What? <laughs> Already? <laughs> I guess this is what Rochelle meant by uh, who am I picking on today? <laughs> I for sure thought it was going to be me. Yeah, 11? <laughs> I'm scared. So, wow. Oh, you don't, I, I mean, like, as you know, as you're, you know, thinking him more and, and you do see you're, you're very concerned. You know, you're very distracted. And mm. Hemor is like, I, can only imagine you know he's picking up on something you don't know he's not he's not pointing it out or anything but you do see he's picking Mm. up on something and he totally understands but then he also Mm. takes a huge step back (laughs) spot (laughs) (laughs) tackles you from the side (laughs) (laughs) oh my god and hold on, hold on. Oh, we gotta do this thing. Where's the thing? Roll for damage. <laughs> <laughs> you take two points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> for real? Yeah. I don't think oh, she's damn. <laughs> Two points of affectionate headbutt damage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yup, you're, uh, all, all, all of your bounce and your familiar, Vanya, um, are slowly trickling in from the mountainside. Yeah. And Maya goes to give uh, <laughs> give Petal a hug. <laughs> and it's reciprocated, of course. And the last one to come in is uh, Soren's mount with the cart still intact. He's looking all proud of himself as he just the trudged cart. up the whole mountain himself with the cart. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna pet him. Good oh boy, good job. Like peel myself up off the ground. It's like, oh, <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. I'm gonna toss my satchel into the back of the cart and like kind of rest my hand on the outside of it. Um, are we going to get going then? Where are we headed? The Prime Minister said you guys can r- rest up and resupply at the camp. Um, and that'll give you guys time to discuss and assess the situation. 
what you guys, where you guys would like to go. There. And Amor's like, I hope you don't mind an additional travel companion. <laughs> and the Prime Minister's like, uh, only if it's you. <laughs> the Hemor's like, ah, if you insist, sir, as you wish. And uh, <laughs> he's like, I'll see you back at the camp. And he jumps up on his griffin and takes off. Um, the Hemor's like, lucky bastard. <laughs> so I'm thinking the same thing. <laughs> uh, I guess I will... Hop in the cart. Hop in the cart. It is up to you guys if you want to discuss Sorn, things. Sorn's as... ready to check out. He's in the car. <laughs> oh, he's ready. He 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 met another rock friend, so he's ready. <laughs> he has to save his rock friend. Oh yeah. I have to save the rock friend. <laughs> as at this point, we should make friend. like a system to tie Zanori to to his animal. <laughs> I can do it oh, out nice. of flowers and vines. You're now cuffed to your, uh, your mountain. Support uh, system for his clumsiness. And it is up to you guys. Um, we can trek the whole way back to the camp, or we can fast forward. Uh, um, if you, unless you guys want to discuss stuff along the way. Why can't we ride a griffin? What the frick? There's there you already got people on him. Oh, I do. Um, I thought we were having a people. Lord of the Rings moment, oh, sorry. and I feel gypped. <laughs> well, the eagles. Actually, I'm, gonna, really I'm gonna whisper you. Well, no. After the big quest, they um, can take I'm it fine with just fast forwarding to the to the camp. Hmm. Probably best at Freaking this point. Eagles. All right. <laughs> um, you guys approach. Um, the the day it slips away, and as darkness falls, and you guys leave the area of the world builder and the same gray ashy barren landscape returns um as you guys get further away from the world builder you see that even though he's relatively recovered he's definitely seeming to preserve a lot of his energy and is not a either not willing or not able to heal the land around yet um, but you guys return to the camp uh, without incident. Um, you know, torches are light. The camp seems to have been winding down. But upon your guys' approach, a handful of, of soldiers and guards do come to greet you. Um, or, you know, greet the party in general. Among those soldiers is Hemor and a couple of his guards. <clears throat> Sword has been rock mode in the in the back of the cart the whole time. So, uh, so your scorch is definitely grumbling and act hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, my poor boy. Oh wow. Um, sword roll perception with disadvantage because you are unconscious. That's That's not Risha, I, I whispered Ooh. you. That was uh, a nat two on the second one, so that is a six. No, s where is it? Yeah, six. Uh, upon reaching the camp and Scorch recognizing the camp, and you guys are coming in from the um, from the stable side. Scorch kicks off the cart, and you go flying out. Oh. <laughs> no. And you take also two points of legending damage. Oh, no, everybody's He's getting picked on. Picked on. Today. <laughs> These two this enemies have hurt us more than I think week. any any enemy we fought so far. <laughs> How they get you? <laughs> Environmental damage. <laughs> I'm like coming out of rock mode, like kind of getting up and like dusting myself off <sighs> i guess i deserve that <laughs> and scorch you know kind of uh does like almost like a little whinny growl at you uh but he 
he just kind of like huffs and still stands close to you. He just kicked you and the cart off. He just essentially said, fuck the cart. Don't give me that tone. <laughs> I'll try to pat his head. <laughs> roll. You, you yeah. gotta roll at animal handling now. <laughs> you gotta let your animals okay, have their better. teenage years. Uh, 19. Okay. He begrudgingly accepts your pets, but he's still, oh. he's still giving you the side eye. <laughs> Uh. So, uh, I'm just trying to think. You said the day is gone, didn't you? Mm -hmm. I'll just turn to everyone and say, Sir, should we just turn in so we can get an early leave tomorrow? Get this get this trip over and done with yes that might be a second a second that <laughs> yeah. i'm i'm kind of hungry can we get some food <laughs> i'll go with you ivania yeah I, I, food wins out over sleep so <laughs> and more just like yes. we were expecting you guys to to be back around this time so the cook left some food out for y'all Oh, great. Oh, you know, we would have been here at dinner time if we could have ridden some griffins here, but I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so funny. I would probably kill a griffin for Tris. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Um, so while you guys uh, proceed to the mess hall, Hemor um, does step beside you, ignoring he kind of bumps you. And just to you. Um, you know, he's like, I do have information for you, but I feel like we should step away to talk about it. Okay. Uh, are we still oh. with an earshot? Um, <laughs> uh, at this point, no, you guys did not hear that. Um, because you guys took off to the mess hall. <laughs> I'll catch up with you. You said that to us? Hmm. All right. We'll save you a spot. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I feel like my food's going to be gone? <laughs> if I may or may not sneak a couple of the good stuff from your plate. <laughs> no guarantees. <laughs> so you guys go to the mess hall. Um, we'll get back with you shortly. I'm going to follow behind Sonari and make sure he's okay. Because I don't really need to eat anyways. You're going to follow behind noticeably? Or are you going to try and go unnoticed? Let's go with noticeably? I'm not trying to spy. I'm here as an emotional sport fairy. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, sure. <laughs> I, listen, I'm not trying to sneak in this case. That should go on Aya's card. I'm not trying to spy. <laughs> um, uh, so I would notice you, wouldn't I, Aya? Mm-hmm. Well, I'd hate to burst your bubble, mate. But Zunori's gonna turn around and be like, this is, this is a real private matter. I'm sorry, Aya, this is personal. I will share any other information, and if this information pertains to anything that, of the greater spectrum of things, but right now I'm really worried about something I need to get out of the way. I understand. I don't really need to eat anyway, so I'll wait here. You scream if he's an asshole, and I'll stab him for you. <laughs> Reassuring. Thank you very much. But does she really return to the mess hall? Uh, no. <laughs> mm. um, all right. So, Zunori, Hemor walks you and the Prime Minister to the Prime Minister's main tent. And they walk inside, and you guys walk inside. Um, on the table is sprawled a couple of maps, and you do see, you know, a lieutenant sprawl, um, you know, kind of 
bouncing over the maps quite a bit. Um, but you also see um, right behind him uh, what appears to be a nurse. You don't see what the nurse is working on, but her yeah you know, the back his back is to the rest of the tent. Um, but Hamor and the prime minister and you walk into the tent and he looks over at the prime minister and he's like the scout has retrieved information uh, regarding General Gale's current status and what is currently going on but also um, and he motions over to the nurse you have a visitor Zunori and uh, the nurse kind of steps to the side and you see Natters and Natters is very weak and he is covered in soot and his bag is apparently relatively burnt Oh, buddy, what happened? He starts no. crying when he sees you, and he starts really, like, he's actually trying to flap and get up, and, and the nurse is like, whoa, 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 and he, he's like, hold on, wraps him up, and he hands you, <laughs> Natter's all wrapped up and panicking. Oh, buddy, what happened? And I'll just, like, give him the pets. And he sees, he's crying and he's whining, and he's like, "This guy barely made it in." Um, the the scout says, "This this guy barely made it in." My Griffin ended up picking him up and carrying him the rest of the way. What happened? And the prime minister looks at the scout and he's like, "Yes, please. What happened?" And uh, the scout points at the map. Um, and uh and he says uh they went through Lokva this morning and they are halfway to Sirosar from here or halfway to Sirosar from Lokva um there was a lot of casualties in Lokva and in Orkney and in Iksava they didn't go to Chenogawa but he seems to be bent on Perhaps the furthest trade capital might have more information. The Prime Minister is like, and you said he's en route to Sirosar from Lokva right now? And he's like, yes. I was like, how many men do we have at the ready? He's like, I gather, I, we can gather about 16, maybe 20 to be ready to ride. He's like, how more can we borrow your griffins? He's like, He's like, prepare for. And the Prime Minister looks over at you, Tsunori, and Hamar as well. He's like, I am actively hyperventilating, like, in a panic at this point. Do you know anything of the casualties? In Lurkvar, especially. And Orkney, for that matter. And he's like, I didn't want to stay too long to take a tally. I figured I should come back. But once the general is taken care of, we can have priests and soldiers down to assess damages and start recovery efforts. I'll turn to the nurse and I'll say, I think I have someone with me that will be able to tend to matters. Please excuse me. And I'll just walk out of the, oh. like, very briskly walk out of the tent, like, towards the mess hall. Uh, the mess do you still now. have natters in your arms? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm saying to the nurse. I'm saying I think I have somebody to tend to this. I'll be back in a moment. Um, how aggressively... Ooh, never mind. Um, Himor does stop you for a second, and he's like, did you want to see what Natters was carrying first? And he points down at the bag that's partially burnt. He's like, I'll this keep him animal. In my arm. Yeah. yeah, this. Yeah. It, Amor says, this animal was bringing you something it was willing to risk its own life for. Let's see it. Okay. Um. Uh, you know what? Roll, roll. Let's see how much you figure out in your panic. Roll investigation. 
<laughs> no! We wanna know! <laughs> <laughs> What's in the bag? What's in the box? What's in the bag? It's it's good. Don't worry. Uh, investigation is a twenty-three. All right, you pull out a letter um, with your grandfather's seal. It is partially mm. burnt. Um, and in the bag that seems to have been crudely stuffed in, you, uh, with beak score marks, you presume that Natters had picked it up and shoved it in the bag. And you did see it was sticking out a bit, but you didn't register what it was. Um, mm -hmm. but you see a single white rose. Single white rose. Yep, covered with soot. Okay. What does this all mean? I'm always like, well, that's definitely the Parsalian order. The Prime Minister's like, you were having issues with the seer. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll come back and tend to this right now. My priority is this little man. We've got to get these singe feathers sorted out. It, uh, actually, I'll just quit, have a quick rummage through the bag and see if there was anything else in there. Yeah. Now, the, if it, there was anything else, um, it would have been smaller than a couple of inches and would have fallen out of the hole that was burnt in the bag. Mm -mm. And what was the note? What What did the note say? Um, I can whisper that to you. Mm hmm, mm -hmm. I will whisper that to you. Do you want me to whisper to that to you now, or do we want to take a quick wellness break and I'll whisper it over the wellness break? Yeah, do that. All right. All right, guys. So we will be back in about five-ish or so minutes, um, acquiring snacks and getting drinks and hydrating and stretching and seeing what Zunori's grandfather had to say. I missed it all. So, burb.
Right, guys we are back what's next <laughs> sorry <laughs> those are just a grape in my mouth mm. yes so you have the letter from your grandfather and then the white rose of the parsalian order um with no clue as to where it was retrieved from mm -hmm. and roll a history check for me too This is that one. Never mind. No, I'm basically inconsolable at this point. <clears throat> you're basically inconsolable at this point. Your your mm. brain is non-functioning. Mm. But yes, yeah, mm. so still in the tent, you did pull out the letter and read it from what? Uh, I'll um. Oh, I just read the last bit of that that letter. Oh. Um, um, I'll uh, quickly make my way over to the mess hall and bust in and say, "We've we've got problems. We've got big problems." And I, like I'll, I won't so, like go hey. At, but at the, at the like, obviously. Really quick, at the mess hall, you do see your four little ragtag buddies indulging on some leftovers. The cook is off on a, in a different part of the mess hall, you know, just cleaning and doing whatever. There's also a couple of soldiers wandering around, but no one really within vicinity besides these guys. The camp has essentially shut down for the night. Mm -hmm. And you guys all see Zunori bust in. And Natas is in tatters. If I um, was about to wave uh, <laughs> Zanori <laughs> over and then sees Natas, like, she's like, goes eyes wide, is like, full panics. Is that? And Avaya runs over. <laughs> like, just ditches everything. As soon as Zanori busted in the, in the door, I've, I was like, up and like, hands on the table. <clears throat> Well, essentially oh. raged into the tent rather than bust down the door. And, yeah, <laughs> you know, as soon as he rushed in. Oh, what, what's going I, uh, on? Moshi? Where are you two at? Uh, and th that's when I kind of snap into it. I, I completely forgot. I never went to the mess. Zanori basically. I'm still by the fire. I did what I said I was going to do for once. Oh, <laughs> where are you at, Moshi? <laughs> Moshi. 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 
Well, she, she passed out at the table. <laughs> We could just oh, say Mo, she's still like just passed out at the table while we were eating. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, I'll get back. I'm gonna hand Natters to uh Ivanya without really saying anything. I'm gonna walk back outside of the mess tent and <laughs> do what I said and yell out to her if anything went down. <laughs> Aya You hear this, Aya. I'm going to fly over and be like, so, service is available, who am I stabbing? (laughs) (laughs) And I'll just, like, worryingly gesture into the tent. And as I'm, like, turning back into the tent, I'll realize that I am a cleric again. (laughs) Because I'm so (laughs) inconsolable. And uh, walk up to the boy and cast... Which one is it? Oh, Cure Wounds is the better one. Given your state of mind, I'm going to need you to roll the hit. Roll the hit. Uh, If I am also going to try to roll something. Uh, (laughs) I need a dunce cap, man. (laughs) Um, I'll just put it on top of my laptop. (laughs) That was a what? (laughs) There we go. Another nat one. Oh, hold up! That's like your third not one in a row, dude! Something Bruh, like cursed! <laughs> cursed! Which dice? It's a bad. It's a bad. Have I'm you been rolling the same die? Uh, uh... Yeah, I did. I just switched it out. Yeah, yeah, it was. Jesus. Throw it at the trash. It rolled the nat 20 as well, so... It's like... <laughs> yeah. So... You know, you... Get some semblance of logic back into your your brain cells. Um, But your hands are shaking, your emotions are fried, and with your emotions being shot to shit, your magic is also shot to shit. And Mm. you couldn't stabilize it enough and realize that you needed to back off or you could potentially hurt Natters worse. Mm, mm, mm. Is there... Uh, is there anybody here that can heal? Right now, I can't. I just can't look at this. There is a situation brewing. And I'm... Uh, yeah. Ivana's going to roll a nature check to... I'm going to try and roll a nature check to find medicinal plants around the area to help Oh, stabilize. you don't need to roll for that. You know there's no medicinal plants because of the given the situation. We're in the middle of nowhere. Uh- Oh no! Cam does have a medical tent, right? We talked to somebody that did dealt with medicine when we were here. Oh, uh, that's, that's where Zanori. Oh, uh, that's from. where I was. I was inconsolable. I just wanted to bring him back to friends and things like that, forgetting that I was even a cleric. You know. <laughs> do potions? Do potions work on animals? I'll allow it. If I have pulled out her one potion. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And carefully drips it into Natters' uh, beak. Natters very weakly accepts it. And after a few very intense for Zunori moments, um, you guys do see the burn marks on Natters' side. Um, start to heal up and close a bit, even though quite a bit of his feathers are either singed or, you know, in the case of the burn marks, they're currently missing, um, as well as that foot appeared to have been broken. And the bones start to mend a little bit and still pretty weak, but Natters does stand up and he presses himself back into Yuzunori. Is the bone fully mended? I mean, it, when he when he walked over to Sonori to press himself against Sonori's chest, there was a slight limp, but he was able to put weight on it. A little bird I'm weight. I'm <laughs> going to use my flowers then, and I want to grow them into a tiny little baby bird cast. 
Roll Arcana. Oh, I whispered you too. 24. Uh, All right. Sure. Um. Okay. Uh, that successfully work works. And Snatters also kind of like takes his wing and cuddles you a little bit. I, uh, and you hear him, you hear him whimpering, but he's starting to coo, um, and still very weakly, very softly. Um, but give me a moment, guys. I'm going to whisper back to Chris. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> I'm actually going to weave together flowers to make a little bird sling. That way, matters can be carried around by one of us. While he finishes healing and recuperating. And I'll, in my panic, hand <coughs> the note over to you, Sawn. I can, you, you can give it to whoever you need to, but I'm just going to start reading read it. it. Yeah, I'll just put it in the lounge. Ah, uh, okay. He is a friend. Yagnir is your granddad, right? <laughs> mm, all right. So my memory serves. I'm gonna hand off the the bird sling to Chris, to to Zunari. Oh, I thought you already put it on Nanders. Uh, you put it on Nanders yourself. No, the bird string someone else wears, and so I'm a little and... bit tiny to carry. The oh, bird. oh, you mean like a oh? Never mind. No, <laughs> like you do for babies. The DM is up to speed now. <laughs> <laughs> if I could carry Natters, I would. It'd be hilarious because Natters is larger than me. You can ride Natters, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute, what's this letter talking about? It's the letter uh, that uh, Zunori got from the... Uh... Yeah, but what's it talking about? He had sent the letter out to his grandfather. This is the response back. Oh, just... Yeah, is from... Lintet, is he talking about me? Yep. You're the only one. I know, I'm just like, what? what is... What are they? Why are they talking about me? <laughs> that's, what's that's that's magic. Oh, that's a question for... Magic? Okay. Yeah, that's a question for Zunori, because Zunori wrote oh. the letter while while you were berating him, if you don't recall. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, man. Sorry about that, man. I hope you forgive me. <laughs> Core memory retrieved. <laughs> <laughs> After I'm done scanning the note, I'll... I'll pass it back to Zunori, and I don't think we have that much time. What is the current condition on Natters? Like, is, is, is he stable? Like... Natters is stabilized and recovering. He's still right. very dirty. Um, you know, like I said, patches of feathers are missing. Feathers are singed. A lot of his tail is gone. You know, like, he's still roughed up, but... He is on the path to recovery. Boo. Yep. Wait, who who did this? Who did this? Seriously, who did this? I don't think we know. <laughs> he came back with with the note and a, a white rose. I I don't understand it. And I, like, I realize that I haven't even brought the bag with me. I'll, I'll um I'll just be like in the moment and like walk back to the the tent <laughs> and like grab the the bag not even talk to anyone just grab the bag walk back out again with the white rose would would i know that the white rose is 
like symbolic of the Parsalian order because I read the, the you would. journal. Hmm. Yep, you would. How do you spell that? Parsalian? Or Parsalian? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I think so. Huh. Actually, let me double check it. Maybe one else or two. <laughs> <laughs> I am in the you... moment too. Oh wait, are you still? You, Who you are said these you guys? Left Zanori. Oh, no. Did you leave the the tent? Ah, uh, yeah, I did. All right, I'm, I'm chasing after get you. The... Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty much going to get the 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 bag and the water. Sort of quickly. Awesome. Oh wait. Oh, I thought you had brought it with you, and then and I saw that. Okay, never mind then. I'll no, wait. I just I just gave him the note, and then I've like realized that I haven't got the bag because I'm like all freaked out and shit, and then I'm like, oh fuck it, you know, just walk back to the tent. Yeah, they're they're one of the the two two big orders. Uh, ladies of night have the colored throws too, I think, right? Or ladies of the forest. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, ladies of the night is a different thing. <laughs> Not for this. But the night is her own being. <laughs> That's too funny. Okay, so you break into the tent. Um, Hemor, the prime minister, and the scout lieutenant, as well as the nurse, um, are still in there. And uh, the nurse is kind of cleaning up their station while uh, the... Prime Minister and him more solemnly look over at you. Um, I'll grab the the bag and the white rose, and as I'm walking out, I'll say, "How long till these griffins are here?" And him more is like the griffins are already here. The soldiers are getting ready and they're going to escort the prime minister to the general mm. i'll be back and i'll walk out and go take the rose and the bag to the to um the group wait the PM's gonna go to the general that's ransacking. General, yeah. The general. Mm hmm. Okay. We all know that now. Hmm. Uh, do you all know that now? Is that something? I would, that's what I was asking. Can I have I another I think is the only one that doesn't know. About what? Because Ivanya was distracted by the Griffins. Oh, yeah, ah, because we right. were there. Yes. Mm. Um, I'll pretty much, yeah, I'll get back to the, the group and hand off the, the white rose to Sorn and the bag too, and I'll I'll try and heal Natters again. I'll try again. Okay, roll it. Uh... I can't remember what the dice is now. Um, cure wounds. If I was going to suggest that Zanori get some food and rest in before attempting again. It's getting cold. Sun's getting real low, buddy. <laughs> Sun's going down. Yeah. <laughs> Zanori's like palpably like annoyed. Um, uh, yeah, you guys vis seem visibly vibrating. Like, yeah. But you're what? Uh, I heal Natters for t 13 hit points. All right, that restores his vitality. It does not restore, uh, I mean, it restores some of his plumage, but it does not restore the burned areas. Mm -hmm. um, and he does perk up and, you know, he con <laughs> continues to, to try and, like, cuddle up in your chest. Um, 
But yeah, uh, uh, to put it in perspective for, for your party, where at first they could not understand how you were a hearted veteran, they mm. can now see um, the side of you that... They they now understand that yes you really are a hardened veteran. Just you're you're you have a very stormy appearance now. Your face is very contorted and it makes sense. It adds up now and they're like oh you know he really is a veteran because <laughs> before oh, shit. you know he's a you know we went from pacifist to you know about to to string someone up pretty quickly. While this is happening, I'm gonna uh I'm gonna be like inspecting the rose closer uh, i'm gonna detect magic and like hold it up to my face turn it around and see if i Roll see investigation. anything special about it okay Ooh, that is a dirty 20. Mm. <clears throat> Roll history uh, that is a 19. impressive so plus fives really hit <laughs> um, so you are inspecting the rose and you do get you know even though the rose itself does not appear to be magical it is definitely infused and grown with magic um you see score marks where you know that match Natters's beaks, as well as a lot of the petals are scrapped, scratched, and scraped and crumpled, um, to where you know it appears that Natters was stuffing it in in his bag. Um, that makes sense to you. Um, but then in terms of the magic that it is infused with, you also you catch a whiff, you know, where the magic matches that of the Eventide Forest. Um, you get a whiff of a familiar essence where it just it just a just a trace amount just a trace amount and i'm going to whisper that to you rumble why does everything always seem so fucking familiar <laughs> <laughs> only like squinting at this thing and turning it around <laughs> If I restore the flower, would more clues become available to Sorb? I wouldn't want to interfere with the signature that's already there, you know? Fair enough. Okay, did you get... Oh, wait! Wrong person. Hold on. <laughs> you just whispered somebody else. <laughs> Quick, delete it. Whatever. Don't look. <laughs> just about to look too. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. <laughs> no, no, no. no. It's too Wasn't dirty. me. <laughs> don't look. Everyone looks. <laughs> this reverse psychology can't help it. Okay, and, uh, okay, so what are you, what are you doing, Sunari? Besides not looking uh, at your whispers? Oh. <laughs> um, okay, so I've healed Natters. Start to calm down a bit, but I'm still, like, in focus mode. And I'll turn to Ivanya and Aya and say, watch Natters. Moshi, watch Natters, Sorn, come with me. I nod and I'll go with him. Because I need a, a clear, cool mind. <laughs> Which I am not right And now. he trusts the um, rock friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'll, um, I'll walk back over to the, the mess tent. Uh, could you give my friend here a run through of what you just said to me? Wait. Friend here. Me? Wait, who am mm. I talking to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, so you, you are going to get loaded. So, and this is your first time in the tent. Um, so, you know, this is the larger, one of the larger tents, one of the larger personal, te personnel tents, uh, so to speak. 
Um, and walking in, um, it does have several sections, but um, one main room. It is very minimally decorated. Um, it doesn't even have, you know, like any carpets or rugs. You, know, you guys are still walking on the field floor. Uh, but there's a large table in the center uh, with a couple of stools and chairs. Um, once again, very minimalistic. Um, you know, very, you know, obviously they weren't worried about traveling in style or luxury. Um, but on the tables sprawled out is quite a few maps. And um, as you guys walk in, the um, the nurse actually looks at Zunori and said, Did you guys take care of your bird friend? He's a lot better now. And he's, he's like, okay, good. Well, next time, you can have me help, too. I, uh, thank you. Like, okay. And, you know, just kind of pats you on the shoulder and walks out. Um, around the table with the maps is the prime minister who is, um, you know, he seems to be strapping a couple of things to his armor, and he has a bag slung over his shoulder. And uh, Hemmore, you know, who you had briefly seen on the peak, as well as a lieutenant that you do not recognize. Um, just a young lad. All of them are visibly perturbed, and all eyes are on you as you two walk in. Hmm. I'll, uh, I'm gonna stop levitating, so I'm just gonna... on a level with everybody else. <laughs> I don't want to stick out as much as I normally do. <laughs> mm. I'll pretty much say to them, can you give my friend here the lowdown of what you just told me? The lieutenant will, you know, look at Hemor and Hemor just nods to him. And he's like, you know, I've, I flew over the areas that we've been hearing about a general, you know, being a loose cannon, essentially. And quite a number of villages have been ransacked. Um, Orkney was, uh, we thought was the latest. So I started there. Uh, last we heard he was heading down to Sirosar and he seems to still be en route to Sirosar, but he had uh, just hit Lokva this morning. And uh, much of the town was in shambles. I did not stay to get survivors, uh, a survivor's list, unfortunately. I, I uh, tracked them to halfway between Lokva and Sirosar. They're probably about a two days ride from Sirosar at this point. And uh, en route back here, uh, there was uh, struggling, uh, struggling, you know, carrier bird. And we picked him up on the way back, seeing that he was headed in the same direction. I'll uh, nod and kind of step up as he's starting to talk to me. And once he's done, I'll turn towards Zenori. Is there anything special about those places to you, aside from Orkney? Is the, the PM in, in there too, like suiting up? Or is he in his own person? Yeah, no, no, no. The PM's suit. The PM's. It, he's standing right there, but he is suited up and visibly ready to leave on a moment's notice. Is um, there anybody else in the tent besides the the lieutenant and the PM, and us two? Hemor. Sorry. Hemor. Was he not the lieutenant? Mm -mm. No, the the lieutenant was the scout. Ah. Um. I'm going to look at the, the scout and um, say, can we have the room, please? The scout will nod, and then he'll look over at Hemwar and the Prime Minister, and he's like, I will prepare the others. We will leave when you are ready. And then the Prime Minister says, anticipate shortly. He you know, does the bow and runs outside. I don't particularly want this to leave this room for many reasons. But Lokvar is the home of my wife and children. How much like that explains a lot. And he looks over and at the she... prime. They look. They kind of look at each other, and they look back. And he's like, "You don't have to worry about us." She's part of the. Uh... I can't 
remember the name of the family. <laughs> Shaolin Ray. Uh, she's part of the Shaolin Ray family, and it would be. I'm, I'm out of two minds at the moment, and this is playing on me. Because I've seen this before in vision, I swear. And I'm quite worried that my vision has been a premonition all along. How many kids do you have? Three. And how old are they? They range from three to seven. So it's safe to say they'd go with their mother wherever. Mm hmm. Prime Minister, it's like, when was the last time you saw your wife? Uh, when we just left Orkney, actually. And she was heading back home to tend to important business. Did she seem all right? Mm, there was something off. I'm not going to lie. But I just thought it pertained to family business. Because we can, tend to... Yeah, yep. Yeah. Can I make a history check to see if I remember if her aether was, like, off when I when I saw her in Orkney? You may roll a history. Okay. Um, 21. Oh, crap. So, you do recall her Aether being somewhat troubled and stressed. But once again, you did also pass that off as stress, you know. Mm. Um, but uh, uh, the Prime Minister says, and when did you start having all these dreams? Again? I think it started in the forest when we were confronted with our deepest fears. I guess confronted with ourselves. And he's like, well, it would make a lot of sense given, you know, Hemor, um, Hemor is chiming in now. He's like, it would make a lot of sense given the nature of the seers. Really, unless... You know, there's world-ending information. Unless it's personal, there's no reason for them to spend as much time and as much energy corrupting someone's dreams, especially you know, reoccurring ones for that are con consistent. But mm. given that this is personal, and you're maybe... He's, he's like, I, my guess would be that your wife has been a seer and she's been trying to hide it, but she couldn't hide it anymore. And that's where you were getting the dreams is through your personal bond with her that you were seeing what she was seeing. All the more reason to find out if she's okay. I will have the general's head if my children have been hurt. The Prime Minister says, I am inclined to allow that. So, do you think we go with them? Wherever this party's going? And, uh, there's not enough griffins, are there? Or were the spare griffins? No, I didn't right. think so. Hold on, it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, there's a way bigger bite than I thought it was going to be. Hold on. <laughs> How far away is Lokvar? And is it kind of on the way to where we need to be going? So um, the, from what I remember, right, the, the place that the general is heading 
mm. there might be a portal that could take us to where we need to go, you know, from... Yeah, exactly, there might be. So, so what you guys understand right now is that there, yes, uh, Cirrosar, there might be a portal there. Um, whether or not it's usable or even still there, you know, it's just that whispers in the wind. Um, but the alternative is heading there directly um, with mounts and with assistance. You guys could cut the trip down to a week uh, by going through the forest. Um, the alternative is going back through Chenogawa, uh, but then you guys are going over canyons if you go through Chenogawa. Um, I'm going to pull up the map right now, and I'm going to mark out POIs, and I'm going to put that in the live chat in the Discord. I'll, um, I'm going to look towards the Prime Minister and kind of take a tentative step forward. Would you allow us to talk to the rest of our group really quickly? And he was like, absolutely take your time right, we'll we'll return and i'll i'm gonna grab zanori like just above the the elbow and kind of drag him out real quick man zanori's just on a roller coaster uh, uh i'm gonna be still be dragging him kind of uh going back towards the uh the tent everyone else is at and on the way i'm gonna pass the rose but back to him and I detected a trace of your wife's aether on this along with um, a little bit of the, the forest so I don't know which way you would prefer to go but I think I would leave that up to you do you think the forest then I, it's very hard to say, but this we have two courses of action that both would be pretty high on our priorities, but they they both lead the same way to the same place. So Well, let's get the mounts ready, I think. I've got to find out if my wife and children are okay. Because although, although the world may be ending, they are my world. <clears throat> I have nothing tethering me here besides the group of you, so I'll leave it up to you. Oh, yeah. Just dropped my D four. <laughs> no, and it's a sharp one, so I do not yeah. want to step. <laughs> no, no, get it. Uh, we'll we'll walk back to the mess tent where these guys are probably giving that as all the scrutions. <laughs> back at the tent, what is going on? Uh, does Ivania notice? Uh, both of them walk in. Uh, yeah, yeah, you guys are, yeah, at this point, you guys are noticing everything. You're on high alert. Okay. If I was going to grab the plate of food meant for Zanori and a bunch of utensils and walk up to Zanori and start shopping food in his mouth and say, <laughs> eat, eat, God damn it, eat. <laughs> Could have pulled it away. And Zanori's pulled. turned into a prop. <laughs> you need to eat and you need to rest it's not possible right now Ivanya things have changed my wife and children are in danger well you can't help them on an empty stomach at least get some food in you and we can discuss things as soon as you're done eating so i'll trust you with the situation i seem to be being forced to eat <laughs> just start soldier shoveling food <laughs> you said you trust me to go and get everything ready 
yeah. And tell these guys pretty much while I'm shoveling right. food down okay. my gullet. <laughs> <laughs> um Okay. I'll uh motion towards the the other two and uh kind of try to include Ivanya in this while she's just shoveling food into Zenori's mouth. <laughs> um I <laughs> I think we're going to have to go back through the forest. Um, we have some information that Zenori's wife may be there. And yeah. I think that might be our best bet uh, to getting Citadel. Which is, we're, we're heading to the Citadel, right? Because we have to find. Yeah. You know. mm. Mm. So I think we need to get everything ready and get going. <sighs> Um, <laughs> would, <laughs> while while Ivanya's doing this, uh, Aya and Moshi, would you be able to help me get all of our stuff ready? I think we need to leave as soon as possible. Oh, oh yeah. Ivanya's like gonna help as well because the first yeah, you, few shovels of you food you feed the man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will feed the man. <laughs> He's not oh gonna do God. it on his own. You're right. There's a good point. <laughs> Don't worry. If you want sleep, I have potion in my bag. <laughs> All right, so now here comes the airplane. <laughs> it's only temporary for a couple of hours. Okay. If he's not going to rest. Okay, I see where we where, are. Where where did you post this? Sorry. It is in the no. live chat on the in Nerd Bridge Nest. Oh, Discord. live chat. Sorry, <laughs> I went to click it, but then it went away. <laughs> Come back. Okay. If you guys aren't on the Discord, get your butts on the Discord. It is in the live chat. And that is a marked uh, off map uh, showing <clears throat> cities involved, as well as uh, the general's presumed tirade. Yeah, I don't okay. think there's any way we'd make it in time to cut off the general, unless we were we had the griffins. I don't think there's enough. <laughs> no, I think we just head either straight through to Orkney. Or just cut straight across to Lurkvar. I think we could stop by Orkney um, <clears throat> and then straight up through the forest. Yeah. Or Orkney, Shinogawa, forest and around. That's a big loop around, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Not that big. Orkney, Shinogawa, Lurkvar. Look, no, 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 I don't think I don't think we're going backwards. I think we're heading straight towards. You said you think that she's in the forest, though, right? Yes. We're gonna. So in theory, we could just go through the forest. Yeah, towards Lokfar. That's what I was thinking. I was assuming people. But were if she's in the forest, why would we go down there? <laughs> uh, it, it's just towards because she may be. They may have escaped through the forest and but that if would she's mean that... in the forest then she's with the ladies the ladies find us mm. so actually, you wouldn't actually have to uh, we've we've got a guide we've got natters even though his feathers might not be in full plume at least he could show us a general direction so we're we're all sitting around the table. We've got the map out. Zenori's I look rough. Pointing at the map. <laughs> and pointing at Natters. And Natters just going, yes. Oh god, what? Yes. <laughs> Help um, me. So I mean we can we can cut out going to Orkney if we're not as concerned, but I, I, I thought especially Moshi would be concerned about John D. <laughs> we should we should make a stop by Orkney. Uh, we don't know what what ha what's like the implication of what's going on yet, right? Like, but the thing is, if the Prime Minister is going to handle the general, I'm assuming he's going to check on some of these places, especially considering Orkney is kind of slightly important, right? Mm -hmm. So like, you can't trust him enough to take us to the world builder and part of our team and not trust that he won't take care of the situation that he says he's going to take care of. It's That is oh. provided that him and 16 men can take on... This general has an army, right? Men. Yeah. You guys do not know how many men this general has with them. And they're headed straight for the general, which is already past the two places that we're going to likely run Correct. to. Yeah. I mean, so... 
Yeah, like I said, on, on the map, I put the um, the general's location in red. You know, I, well, I did a trail, and then I just did a little X where <laughs> his current location is. How can we beat him to Sirisar, then? We, I don't think we can. We can't. I don't think we can't, no. It's not, it's impossible. I not mean... Not unless, like, it's outside intervention, deus ex machina shit. The, the point still stands, though. The Prime Minister said he could take care of him, yes? He's, he said so he was going to go try. Him. You either trust him enough to handle the situation or you don't. You trusted him enough to let him be part of the group and help with World Builder, much larger situation. Yeah, we do. It, it's so not, why would you not trust him? With I understand headed, you're personally he, involved. He's headed towards the general. He's not headed uh -huh. towards these places. He's headed directly to the general. We're, what we're that. what we're talking about is yeah. uh if we the the thing is if we're if we're checking up on the places we care about or if we're just gonna go i'm just gonna beeline for heading straight north mm. because he if you go to those places though what do you think you're going to do it's not really so much that i needed to, i need to check if my family's okay that's i understand point. but you think your family's in the forest so why would we go past <clears> the forest <throat> out of the forest to check on places that you can't do shit for to go back into the forest to go save the rest of the world. I understand your family piece. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Right. What I'm saying is, if you look at the map, where we are, a straight line straight to Orkney. We go through the forest because if the ladies in the forest really know that we're there, they're going to find us in the forest regardless mm -hmm. of what part of that forest it is. Mm -hmm. I, I'm agreeing to, with this part. To, on basically a straight line to Lokvar. That's what I'm saying because that's the that that would be the general line that um, Zunori's wife would follow. She would yes. follow a line straight from Lokvar, heading into the forest, but God knows how deep into it. So, and I don't I think understand. she would have gotten far in the last day if she's on foot and with children. I yeah, we d that. we don't know if she would be in the south part or the north part of the forest yeah. either. I understand. That's not the it, question. It, it's not so much that we're going to any of these places. We're trying to decide the general line we can take, like to meet up with Isoen and go towards the citadel. Like we're not going to. Is is it quicker to head down to Surasar? and maybe find a portal or is it just quicker for us to like make a horse trek straight north someone straight mentioned north. a week it would we could cut <clears throat> it down to like a week travel mm. is that what you said rochelle hmm. given so, however long it takes you guys in the forest but yeah a week was presumed yeah our... you're making a lot of assumptions that there'd be a portal there yeah, that was no, that was I... when the yeah, Prime Minister had mentioned there might be a portal, but might I don't be. think we can trust it. Yeah, so I don't think yeah. we should go. I, I don't think there's any way we're going to Sirosar. <laughs> what yeah, did yeah, the yeah. Prime Minister think, though? Like, did he have an input on where we should go? No, he doesn't. He doesn't know some of the information that we know. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Well, my, the main concern here is uh, Zanori's family. Mm. And then and we, we head don't... straight north. After so that. we want to go to Lokva and then go straight north? We'll head to in the general direction of Lokva. I don't think we... My assumption is that we won't get that far because either the ladies of the forest or I, uh, slash seers will intervene and meet up with us because that's how it happened last time. And... Well, no, that I have a connection to them. Yeah, exactly. So Apparently like... so does Zanori. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, um, <laughs> we'll uh, as soon as I find out whether they're okay or not, then we head north, regardless. It's <laughs> the only reason we're going anywhere near east or south is because of my family, because I want to make sure we did buy it. we bought ourselves some time, so I think I think yeah. we can afford to make a small detour. Yeah, it'll only take a day, won't it, Rochelle? Like towards that general direction, to uh, like from to the, the... the camp towards the forest and towards Lokva. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, mm -hmm. because you guys are you guys. Um, it took you a full day to get to, from the forest edge to the camp because you guys went through Olholm, and Olholm was a small detour. 
So wow, to get to wow. directly to the forest from your current location is about three quarters of a day. With okay. mounts, three quarters of a day walking. With mounts, you could easily get that down to a third of a day. Okay. Let's do this then. I'm gonna. We're setting off right away. I nod. Yes, I nod, and I'm just gonna uh, <laughs> motion towards Moshi and Aya to help me get a get the mounts and get our gear and get everything ready to go. <clears throat> Edit. And I'll floating out the door <laughs> or at the right. laps <laughs> like a saloon <laughs> step out i'm grabbing my belt you hear the the spurs rattling <laughs> see a tumbleweed uh, there's only room for one rock in town <laughs> can i find some more like rations laying around in the kitchen or in the mess I mean, hall I mean, you may have better luck just asking the cook, but that's just my opinion. But a lot right. of the priority <laughs> is food. It's always food. Like we've got a feed Sonori. Yeah. Well, I've, we got mouse to feed now. I've got yeah. a feed pedal as well, and we've got our mouse to feed as well. And on, if we're upon, gonna go off right away, we should. Upon you know. appro upon approaching the the cook, you know the the mess hall attendant, um. Joseph, you quickly gather that not all, either they're under orders or they really don't care, but um, you know they overheard a conversation and they were already starting to get stuff put together, gear put together. Uh, uh. So you guys do have enough rations for all mouths um, for at least seven days. Now nice. this will require additional... Um, baggage and stuff like that so so your mounts will have to carry some of your load um seven days of fashion. all right once we make it to like the um where where the mounts are and and get all of our gear secured in the uh cart i'm gonna take off towards the um the medical tent again and see if I can catch the uh, the prime minister before we. Head out. Oh, the the tent they were in was not the medical tent. It, that was oh. the that was the main that was the prime minister's tent. Oh, okay, I just assumed because the nurse was there. <laughs> now the I'm nurse going, was there I'm tending the natters that Sunori okay. just like essentially grabbed and ran out with while still in critical care. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, yeah, so I'll stop by there before. Um, okay, what do you do? What are you doing, Sunori? The... Uh. Pretty much just um, scarfing the last bits of food that I can and then uh, rushing to get all the gear ready, basically. Yeah. Okay, um, so, so once Zunori shows up, I'll swap out with him. And I'm <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who's walking into the tent? Just, I think it's just me. Just you? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you I'm just saddling up. Yeah, yeah, so, so Zunori, or not Zunori, uh, Swarn, you, what? Be it your real names or your game names. I always mix you two <laughs> up. Uh, so you walk into the tent and the prime minister at this point is like, he's about ready to go. Like he's, mm -hmm. he's, he's definitely waiting out of courtesy, but even then his patience is very limited. Um, and Hemor, you know, looks at you and he says, so what was, what's the decision? I think we're going to, we we need to get the information that we gathered from the temple to the citadel as soon as possible. Um, I don't think it can wait. Uh, so we're going to head up through the forest. Um, are, do you know how many men are with the general? Are you sure that your group can handle this? According to the, um, to the scout, to, to the lieutenant that was in here earlier, uh, he carries with him about 50 to 60 men. However, and Himor just looks over at the Prime Minister. Uh, I don't think that's going to be an issue. While mo mo many of those men will be loyal to the death, to the general, a lot of them are unfortunately along for the ride. And the Prime Minister's like, and if they're worth forgiving 
they won't step up to me. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Hamor uh, digs in his little side satchel, and he pulls out uh, what seems to be like a dusty black, just round stone, um, very soft to the touch, very light, and he hands it to you. And he said, wow, you guys were in the temple and given the situation, um, I had prepared a return portal to the temple. So you guys should be able to use the Lothalus Citadel to return directly to the World Builder Temple with this. I... Oh no, he froze! <laughs> Hold on. Actually, I don't think I have my satchel with me. I'm <laughs> I'll take it into my hand and I'll uh, I'll nod and um I'll look towards the PM and I wish you the best. We are going to be taking off as soon as we can. And Amazing. I'm going to nod to everybody. And Prime Minister's like and I will join you. Hemor will see to the camp in my stead, but we must go. Our separate ways, but we must go. And he actually Wait, walks who, out. Take off back towards the group. Yeah. Who gave you the? <laughs> who gave the rock? The rock. Himor, right? Yeah. Okay. Who gave the rock to the rock? <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> I feel like there's a song there. <laughs> yeah, but is it country or? Is it... <laughs> It's rock. it's rock. It's definitely bluegrass. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yeah. It's rock. It's rock. It's classic rock. Classic rock. <laughs> real rock. Nothing but real yeah, nothing rock. <laughs> and I'm going to book it back to the rest of the group. <laughs> all right. Uh, so I guess we're all preparing to move out now. Yep, and the the prime minister is walking with Sorn. He is ready to go. Um, upon approaching um, the tent where you guys were presumably going to stay the night, um, and uh, where your gear was taken to, you guys have uh, already gotten that up and are headed to the stables. Um, the uh, prime minister now has also has a couple of soldiers that are lining up with him um he has four soldiers with him and they are walking with you guys to the animal care area okay uh wait animal care area stables whatever you want to call it oh stables but uh, as we're leaving uh van is gonna try and cast speak with animals using her ring okay and Converse with matters. Uh, Devon is gonna be like, apologies that I did not do this sooner. I was there was so much going on, it completely slipped my mind. <laughs> but um, do you remember who or what did this to you? I'm gonna need you to roll an insight check. Inside. Hmm, not good. Six. No, this was the one time you needed to have a good roll. Yeah, I'm, I'm switching out the dice. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Wait, so what'd you get? I, I got... I got Sorry, he got an 18. Oh. No, I, <laughs> no! Yeah, he did. <laughs> no! <laughs> I got a six. Six Come on. Teen. <laughs> oh. So, Natters does not speak back. Um, but he, uh... He sends you a scattered amount of pictures. Like, you get pretty overwhelmed with these flashes. And you can glean only that Natters flew into the war zone, essentially. 
do I recognize what the war zone or where their war zone might be? Um, no, you just, you, the flashes you receive from Natters are of a village you do not recognize. Um, and with everything flashing by so quickly, and as jarring as they are, you could not recognize any faces, any places, um, but you do recognize that Natters was called there. And it's all, you know, it also being on the way was kind of convenient for Natters, but he still stopped by and plunged headfirst into the, into the war zone without a second thought. So he was determined to get in. He was called there and determined to get in. You couldn't make any details from it. Okay. Uh, if I is going to, like, take a hot second to, like, recover and... She's going to relay this information mostly at Zanori, but also to the rest of the party. And so, like, yeah, we saw, I saw that Natters was called. Like, he rec he recognized someone calling for, for him. And he dived into this chaos. Can't tell oh, too much else, but it seems like someone knew. I think it was your wife, Zanori. More than likely. She sent is... the rose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's more than likely that it, it was uh, her bonded. Well, Nat is bonded to her. Bond, really, and I, from what I can tell, is that my wife had other ways to communicate with him. So, I think we should make haste now that, that, that there's a little bit more sense of urgency. <laughs> and I'll look at Natters and say, Can you show us the way, buddy? And Natters. You know, he kind of, he kind of, you know, does this, but tries to flap, um, oh, hold on, let me, let me roll for Natters. Send good roll vibes. Poor Natters. <laughs> uh, he attempts to take flight, um, but he is unable. However, he does gesture in all of his birdie ways to the north. In all of his birdie ways. <laughs> I think for as long as I can do, uh, for as long as speak with animals is in, is in effect, I think I should be able to, like translate the intermediary. <laughs> you look up how long it lasts. Uh, let's see. It's ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Yeah. So right. pretty much. Uh, I'll have him. I'll have him on horseback. Your little pouch. Hmm. I'm thinking I might just have him sitting up the front of the saddle. And I mean, you still have the flower slain. The flower. So the flower what sorry yeah yeah so you Sling. can carry him oh the flower yeah yeah that's a great idea yeah i'll do that and um uh i'll tell you about that. Uh, if you want yeah. i can weave him a little seat belt since we're going to be on a mount a oh, seat belt. <laughs> oh my god pretty much i want him to be able to point out the direction we need to go like point his wing that way <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, a seatbelt is your right. Okay, I'll I'll leave him a little seatbelt and make sure that he's able to move his wings freely still. I just imagine Tsunori with Natters and one of those like baby things. I was that, like, thinking exactly the, the same front. thing. And he's like, <laughs> I don't know what they're called. But it's, like, <laughs> yeah, the the baby, the baby sling. sling. But I'm yeah. thinking, you yeah, know, the harness, like, the harness, yeah. yeah. the Where harness they, like, from the the toddler car seats. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Give him Mom's a little seatbelt fest. 
poor Natters. His dignity's in the toilet at the moment. <laughs> He's alive, and that's all. That's all that matters. That's right. That's right. All right. So in the um, animal care zone, uh, as you guys <laughs> prepare Natters for a ride, safe, comfortable ride. As every Natters deserves when they are unable to fly. Um, <laughs> you know, you all are preparing your own mounts. Uh, Hinaya is also, you know, resaddling uh, your guys' mounts and stuff like that. Um, are you guys taking the cart with you as well? I would assume so. Do we have uh, enough stuff you, for the cart? Do we need it? All of our tent equipment is in bag of holding i've got my satchel i guess we don't need it it would make it easier to get through the forest if we don't bring it okay. you could like back to the future behind the horse couldn't you <laughs> what yeah back wait what future. we also haven't <laughs> tried like me Joseph, please have you seen back on. to the future i have but what if you oh. like behind a horse i go what when he, 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 he grab onto the, the car and like yeah. hoverboard skateboards oh. behind it yeah hoverboard oh, okay uncultured oh, yeah. swine yeah. Yeah. Hoverboard. longer the range skateboard. for your mouth then so you can be uh pulled we might have to weave that on our way yeah i'll just uh, i'll follow behind my no, for okay. now. <laughs> so you guys are wrapping up your preparations. Um, a really cool thing happens as the Prime Minister prepares his mounts. Um, you guys see a quick flash of magical light, and out of his Ekirin sprouts very massive black wings. Get the, out! The four uh, griffins are already mounted with the other soldiers. The prime minister mounts his now winged oh. Ekirin, and he just looks over at Yuzunori, and he's like, I'll stay Most in touch. Like Moshi starts like poking the back of his like you like there any wings. I'm gonna in here? I'm gonna call after him. Hey, can can you teach me how to do that? <laughs> I'm like I'm like gesturing towards my poor Ekirin. <laughs> hey, wait a second. Wait, no, I know, can but... you do this? Can you do this? It's more jokingly, but uh <laughs> <laughs> a rare bit of comedy from Sorn. <laughs> rare? Oh, wait a second. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> intention. A rare bit of intentional comedy from Sorn. <laughs> oh, but yeah, he does I'll, like uh, a. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was just gonna say to what the prime minister said. I'll give him like a proper salute, like very stern, very proper soldier salute. And he does a deep bow and. They take off into the hazy night sky. Mm -hmm. Alright. No so, rest for the wicked. <laughs> so, <laughs> so before you guys take off into the hazy night yourself, um, do we... It is up to you. Um, we can get to the edge of the forest tonight. Um, or we And we can do it with, uh, if you guys want to take a quick wellness break. Or if you guys just want to bookmark the session tonight. Um, like I said, tonight, you know, probably half hour, hour, you guys can get to the edge of the forest easily enough. But I will leave it up to mm. you what you guys want to do tonight. We'll, we'll get to the edge and we'll see we yeah. can take a break now and just get to the edge and then end it. Sounds mm -hmm. like a plan. All right. Quick wellness break. Um, we will be back in about five or so minutes. Um, yeah. Burb. <laughs>
We are back. All right. So our party has sailed off into the hazy night, uh, hightailing it on your acurans across the countryside. Um, it's not long until you lose sight of the um, prime minister and his crew, Zunori, uh, between the haze and the distance and the night. Didn't take long at all for you to lose sight of him. Yeah, no, it wouldn't. Um, I'm not sure. We're, we're just like galloping, I guess. Yeah, yeah. You guys, you guys really are just galloping, and given the state of the. Oh, hold on. This is my job. Uh, given the state, current state of the world around you. Um, do you guys have no issue getting to the edge of the forest? Um, it is, you know, once again, it is still the dark of night, um, but I am going to need you, Zunori, and you, Ivanya, to roll constitution saving throws. Oh, shoot. <laughs> constitution... Ah, uh, dirty 20. Uh, three. Oh. Oh, Sunori, yeah. you are exhausted. You are starting to feel the effects of exhaustion. Um, so some of your <laughs> roles will have disadvantage. Yes, yes. Oh my god. I should, I should be used to this. <laughs> Quick question, how fast are we galloping? 
Um, you guys, you guys reached the f- forest edge probably about three or four hours prior to sunset. During this time, was it possible for Ivanya to play the flute? <laughs> Not during a gallop, no, with you as an experienced yeah, okay. as you are. Okay. <laughs> I'd love to say someone to see someone play a flute full gallop. Or... <laughs> <laughs> no way. There's no way. Just saying. You need to up From that thigh strength. <laughs> um All right, so I was just gonna say, um, can I like roll a perception check? I would assume at disadvantage just to like take in the surrounds as we go. You may. Um the direct the closest presumably the closest edge of the forest that you guys went for that Natters directed you towards mm. um was not the same way you guys got shot out at <laughs> on the way here. Okay. Soren, did you want to do anything on forest arrival? So we've we've made it to the edge. You have. Um, <clears throat> are we like setting up camp for the night? Uh, it's three to four hours before sunset. Before sunrise. Yeah. No. Sunrise. Mm. My bad. Sunrise. You, she said mm-hmm. sunset before. Okay. I'm sorry if I did. <laughs> no, no, I was asking. I was asking. I wasn't saying, yeah, she said sunrise. I was, I was asking. Because <laughs> I, I thought I heard sunset too. <laughs> oh, I apologize. No, I meant sunrise through the night. Um, that is my bad. No, that, was a, um, that brain cell died like halfway through the word. <laughs> uh Am I aware of how seemingly exhausted Zanori is? <laughs> You're aware of how exhausted everyone is. Okay. Um, you are also aware. Ooh. No perception. I'm what? Oh, okay. Sweet. Um, that is a plus four. Seventeen. All right, so uh, the area of the forest that you guys have immediately reached is currently being drained of life. Oh, um, you do see, you know, there are there are you know parts of the trees and parts of the bushes and stuff like that that still do have some life in it, but it is definitely on the waning end. I'll relay that to everyone. It seems the. This area of the forest is starting to be drained already. Then we should pick up the pace. Mm-hmm. Is there oh, any so big so. non ash trees around? Define big. I mean, <laughs> to you, to you, even a bush tree. is big. Uh, <laughs> large enough that if it was like hollow inside, one of the normal sized people in the party would be able to. To fit in said hole. No, not that big part. Okay. Um, Zunori, what was your role? Uh, it was a uh, twelve. Okay, so you can kind of see exactly what Sorn is seeing. Um, mm. that this part of the forest is also infected. Um, you you guys have not reached the depths of the forest yet um that obvious shift from standard forest to the eventide forest um but you guys are well on your way you're around trees <laughs> you're somewhat headed okay. in the right direction <laughs> <laughs> as far as you know <laughs> let's keep rolling then well, now that we have it in our sights what do you feel <clears throat> more comfortable taking a little rest buddy i'm like looking over at him seeing him probably about ready to fall out of his or off of his mount (laughs) doing the mexican wave with his eyelids i can poke him with my hat pin 
I've never heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. I love how he acted it out as he said it. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh goodness gracious! So we've only just hit the tree line, and we're like discussing. Did we stop at all? I, I don't even. I feel like we probably slowed Maybe down. Maybe we well. should stop. <laughs> Zunori a seems a little out of it. <laughs> I mean, I can tie him to the horse with flowers and then knock him out, and then we can keep going. <laughs> that might be a little risky. <laughs> if you secure him enough, he'll be fine. And just know I... you guys are still in an infected area as well. Yeah. Let's keep riding. Yeah, on, yeah let's push it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is marching orders? Oh, boy. <laughs> I, I am going to... I'll take the lead because... I don't trust Zenori to see ten feet in front of his face. <laughs> no, at the probably not. I, I'd be I'd be second in line, I'd assume. Fair. I'll go third. And I've got detect magic up and everything, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna keep an eye out for everyone. I'll go last. That puts Moshi in front of me. I don't know where I am. I'll just go. No, you'll be fourth. Okay. Yeah. Yep. You'll be behind Avanya. All right, um, Soren, I need you to roll me another act of perception. All right. 19. Nice. I also need you to roll for me. Mm -mm. A nature. Nature. Not as good. That's probably... That's a... Uh, eight. <laughs> uh, so along the way, um, you do you know hear, and and it catches you off guard because you didn't realize how long it's been since you guys have heard the rustle of animals and of life in the forest. Um, so things are starting to come in on you guys and overwhelm you a little bit as you're entering less and less infected areas. But the rustle of something in a bush nearby as you guys are steadily walking through the forest at a brisk pace, but not brisk enough to where you worry about running into trees or anything. Um, a little oaky scout pops out of the bush and when you notice it, <laughs> and it notices you, you, before you're able to do anything, it kind of squeak and runs off. Oh. <laughs> oh In what Fred, direction? no! Come back! Oh, uh, he runs off north. I, I guess we'll just keep going that way then. <laughs> Wait, we're going oh. north? But yeah, we were already headed north. Well, that's what okay. that was the direction that uh, Natas Natas mm -hmm. pointed, right? Okay, mm -hmm. fair. Yep. And after um, another couple of hours, the morning star begins to rise, and light begins to poke through the trees. Um, Zudori, I need you to roll another Constitution saving throw. <laughs> what? No, good. Wait, Ivania, you as well. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I thought I was able to avoid this one. Oh, Ooh, not that's... 20. Oh, nice. <laughs> Eight? <laughs> Slightly better than before. Um, I'm like rotating dice here. The Devania. <laughs> it's not helping. Oh, no. Um, so, or actually Sorn. I want you to roll an insight real quick. 15. Okay. Um, so you're looking around and you do kind of, and you have been, you know, looking over your shoulder at the party following you, just making sure that everyone's still accounted for. Um, as you do that, uh, you see uh, Sorns start slumping in his saddle and his. Sunori. 
Zunari, yes. <laughs> yes. Zunari slumping in his saddle. And uh, his mount spot actually also looks extremely tired. And he starts, you know, slowly walking and he actually just kind of slumps down and like rolls to the side. Uh, <laughs> Taking uh, Zunori with him. Uh, oh. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna, I'm still like floating next to my mount, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna bring my mount up to like have, have the, the tired one lean against mine <laughs> and I'll be there like trying to. Keep oh no no he's already, already on the ground he didn't oh, he's he didn't give a fuck okay. no he didn't give a fuck <laughs> oh shit <laughs> is there no do man. i see a clearing anywhere like like a, any space that we could like lay stuff out um the space between the trees right now is pretty adequate you don't see anything more prominent than the other um but the space that you you guys aren't walking on a defined path right now you guys are just you guys are trudging yeah, off just through the forest um, but yeah, the spaces between the trees at this time is currently adequate enough. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going <laughs> to turn around and motion everybody. I, uh, I think this is where we stop <laughs> for now. And Zunori, you are past the fuck out, sir. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's my case. Ugh. You should have gone to bed when I told you to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna, uh, just start digging into, uh, Moshi's, um, bag of holding <laughs> and start pulling out all our supplies and stuff. <laughs> Go and set that up in between the trees. All right, and Ivania, you have seemingly caught a second wind. The long days and long nights of the dark realm, you're starting to get a little bit more acclimated to. Slowly nice. but surely, but also oh, look at you, fancy pants. <laughs> <laughs> but also, you being reunited with your mount seems to have given you some sort of constitutional advantage, adjusting to the, adjusting to the days and the nights. Nice spiritual power boost. <laughs> the Vanya gets down and helps uh, set up camp as well. Um, Unfortunately, Ivanya is not able to use the uh, magic where everything is set up automatically by spirits. <laughs> Just tie my mouth up to a, one of the close trees and start piling it. I need you to roll an animal handling check. Uh oh. Um, oh Can I buy help on this? No need. Not totally. Oh. Alright, alright. <laughs> what? Your mount protests like being off. tied up, but he trusts you. Pet him. Hey, shh, shh, shh. <laughs> it's okay. okay. You're doing that. I'm gonna do my normal forest thing and start growing flowers, purple flowers. <laughs> Gotta make the place look nice. I mean, it also kind of acts as a signal that we're here. Roll Arcana. Eighteen. All right. Do you want to describe how you set up your alarm feather or alarm feathers? Uh, alarm flowers. Alarm flowers. Yes. Doorbell I mean, flowers. So kind of. <laughs> Kind of if the they're not bluebells, I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was doing it more because their color is purple. But, yeah, bluebells would have been hilarious. I just, I'm going to start taking some of my, my flowers out and I'm going to take some of them and lay them out um, in between like two trees. Um, and I'm going to start having them grow and I'm going to like push them towards the, the trees so they almost act like moths and out a little bit so that it makes like a little flower patch. Okay. Does Ivania notice Aya doing this? Uh, yeah. yeah. You guys are within range. Yeah, unless no. you wandered off. No, I'm just setting up camp. Uh, Ivania's going to approach Aya and ask to borrow 
You have a herbalist kit, right? Um, I don't have a full herbalist kit. I have a mortar and pestle. And I have flowers. Is it possible for Ivania to try and craft healing potions with what Aya has? Is it possible? I mean, as a third level ranger and herbalist, Two, I should be able to use plants. It's whether mm -hmm. if I have enough tools on hand to create. And I think that's so. With that in mind, remember I am able to harden flowers, make bottles. I did it for my blood, so I can make containers. If you tell me what containers you need, I have an empty bottle still. From I when have I a gave... couple flasks. Oh, that would be great. Yeah, I could make if if. If there's enough material around to um, create potions, I would be able to make potions for everybody. Okay, then. so um, you guys need water, which you have, um, and a gemstone uh, value 25 GP or higher, which I think you guys also have. Um, Do we? Yeah, and you need to grind that down into a fine powder. Um, so you guys have the ingredients on hand. However, if you choose to do that, you will not get the benefits of a long rest. You will only get the benefits of a short rest because it will take time <sighs> to grind down the gemstone. Oh, I'm going to go with a rest here. <laughs> Wait, it's isn't most... that only me? I, I, in, like, isn't that only Ivanya that in real has to do well. it? Yeah. 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 Cool. Okay, I'm taking a long rest anyway, I guess. I mean, <laughs> I'm looking forward I have to that all in real of life. My, I have all of my stuff. I could, in theory, use my mortar and pestle to grind it down. Let Ivanya do a long rest, and Ivanya can mix everything together the next day. Yes? But then you will you will not get the full long rest. Oh, no, here we go, here we go. Rest, here's, what I'm here's the rest of the sentence. Afterwards, you mix the two components and cast Cure Wounds on them. If you do as described, you will gain a potion, one potion of healing per gemstone. The whole process amounts to about one day of work. That's a lot of work. <laughs> oh boy. I don't know how come. Oh, it, okay. So in my description for Herbalist 2, it says, at the end of a long rest, I can use the Herbalism kit to create. Okay, we don't have a full Herbalism kit. You can quasi make one. We have pieces of it between us and depending on what's left. Um, plan was to buy an Herbalist kit when we next went to like a big town, which hasn't happened yet. And well, a Poisoner's okay. kit. Here's an idea. Let's just pick the stuff that we need for now. The, stu the, the herbalism mm -hmm. stuff that we need for now. We don't have to craft it right away. I don't think we're going to be needing her healing potions right yet. And I think right now, needing all of us needs that rest. So what we could yeah. do is find um, some time, pick up whatever we need, and then like, since we're in the forest, it's easier to find. And then when we do get to a place where there is herbalism kit for sale, we could buy it in town and get to crafting. Um, we can keep it in my bag of holding, um, and I can revive it as needed, if needed for, for that. Yeah, that sounds perfect. <clears throat> so, yeah, we're gonna just, I guess, uh, hunt for the, or like, I don't think hunt's the right word. <laughs> but yeah, we're Scavenge. gonna look for the right Gather. Word. Yeah, gather! Yeah, that's the right word. <laughs> Scavenge was <laughs> yeah, way better, but... Gather the uh, the materials needed first. Uh, and I guess I mean, Soren rested on the way back to camp, so I'm just gonna keep watch <laughs> for everybody, so everybody can rest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you slept. Oh, yeah, selfish. I did. <laughs> my my poor Ekurin. <laughs> oh no wonder why he's Cheater. salty towards you right now. Your heck, you're insultier than Moshi. <laughs> <laughs> um, so really, so um, you guys set up camp successfully. Um, 
with no issues, um, and Soren, you are posted up for um, keeping an eye out throughout the night. Uh, my question, though, is, did anyone move Zunori, or is he still strapped was, to his egg? I was, I was um, gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's just gonna Nobody sleep touched on. him. <laughs> No, he just see, he seems so peaceful. You know what? You know? I think I think this might be a job. I I think I'm the only one that can do this. <laughs> so I'm gonna <laughs> attempt. Oh God! I'm gonna attempt to lower him off of his horse, or off his accurate. Well, no, no. He's already his well, accurate fell like oh, laid down and fell to the side. Like they're both okay. passed the out. Partially I'm, on top the, of in him. that case, I am just gonna drag. I'm gonna try to drag him out from under Can the I... accurate and, and into a. A tent. <laughs> uh, go ahead and make an athletics check. Oh boy. And an um, animal handling check. Oh boy. I was um, gonna see if I could help you with mage hand, but I don't think so. Athletics is a fifteen. Uh oh, my headphones are falling. Couldn't have done. And animal handling is a fourteen. Right, so his Ekirin stirs for a bit, um, but then settles back down when he sees it's you. Um, you successfully detach Tsunori and take him back to his tents um, without him stirring or waking up. Um, but then uh, Natters, um, also you detach Natters. And Natters kind of, you know, coos at you, but is also pretty passed out. Um so do you want to put, uh, is Natters going in the tent with Zunori? I'll put, or... I'll put Natters with Zunori. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and recover together. Uh, so with that being said, uh, and Moshi, you do have a tent that you're curled up with, and with, uh, with your, oh, egg, Scott. with Scon's head, just kind of, like, <laughs> uh, you see a trend with Moshi. Joseph, you're are muted. You, are you okay, Joseph? <laughs> I'm okay. I'm just like mouthing like, what? Did I hear Scon's head? They're like, what? Yeah, oh, yeah. He's he's wrapped around. Yeah, yeah. Moshi's oh. lying down next to Scon, and his, his head is like wrapped around Moshi. We're snuggling. Oh. Ah, okay. <laughs> Joseph, I, I heard... he's like, oh, what's going <laughs> on with his head? <laughs> yeah, I was like, how do you just have a severed head? No. <laughs> we are snuggling. Okay. It that sounds way good, better. <laughs> it is a good and serene scene. <laughs> oh, Vanya, um, I presume you and your familiar are also taking another tent? Yes. I'm um, going to cuddle with Petal. <laughs> <laughs> Vanya also wants snuggles. Um, Aya, what is your plan for the evening? I'm going to go sleep in a tree. Nice. All right. Ooh, mm -hmm. how high Like a I, flower I, I hammock. That I did probably. I, I gave uh, a scorch enough slack to like be able to lay down. I'm just going to go and sit next to him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, with that being said, we will go ahead and bookmark the campaign here for the night. Um, and tomorrow we will see... If the ladies will assist you on your quest, or if Tsunori just powerhouses through them. Another session tomorrow? Or not tomorrow. <laughs> oh my god, did I fucking say? So you said tomorrow. Like, we're, oh my god, we're <laughs> next session. Tomorrow session. Tomorrow <laughs> session. Yeah, tomorrow session. Love it. Next week, yes. Um, so kind of to recap on some of the uh, announcements. So yes, session next week. Uh, tomorrow session. Um, same time. Uh, also... Um, you know, if you're in the Denver area, we got Sigda tomorrow night, so I will be downtown, hit me up, and then uh, next month also I will be in the Bay Area, um, so if any of y'all are in the Bay Area or going to be in the Bay Area for graduation spring show, um, we'll get together, lots of games, lots of hanging out, lots of fun, lots of shenanigans, uh, but then also, <clears throat> uh, Oddling is our 100th follower <laughs> so that hits our 100 follower go goal now i have to carve out time to play alien isolation yes 
can't wait to watch you. Yes. Yeah. I am day. a alien isola isolation virgin, essentially. Um, because I usually have so little time for games anyway, but uh, 100 followers is the reason to celebrate with a video game. Uh, so I will try to do that this weekend. Um, definitely, uh, 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 definitely with the lights down and the volume up, headphones on, whole nine yards. We're doing the whole experience, okay? <laughs> Um, with that being said, um, also movie night Friday night, we're doing, uh, Kroll and Lady Hawk, so we're doing double feature, that'll be Friday night, um, and yeah, I think that covers everything. With that being said, uh, we'll see y'all in the server, and stay safe, stay nerdy, and we'll see y'all next week. Bye! Thank you.